Colleagues, the Republic of Suriname has taken note with great concern of the Russian invasion in Ukraine and strongly condemns this military intervention. Suriname supports the principles of international law as enshrined in the Charter of the United Nations and underscores the independence and territorial integrity of Ukraine. The Russian invasion of a sovereign and independent state cannot be accepted and any, any on, under any circumstances and must stop immediately. This invasion will have far-reaching consequences for the people of Ukraine and it is a serious threat to peace and security both in the region and the world. Mr. President, in this regard, the government of the Republic of Suriname would like to reiterate its principal position with respect to the following. Peaceful coexistence, the re-establishment of dialogue in every existing conflict, regardless of its nature, the upholding of the internationally agreed principle of non-interference in the internal affairs of states, non-intervention, and respect for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of states. In light of the above, Suriname urges all parties involved to engage responsibly and practice restraint in order to prevent destabilization of the region. Mr. President, there are no winners in any war. War brings only human suffering and devastation. Suriname expresses its concern about the humanitarian situation in Ukraine and calls upon all parties to allow and facilitate the safe and unrestrained access of humanitarian assistance to those in need, to protect civilians, including those who are humanitarian personnel and persons in vulnerable situations. Suriname welcomes the actions undertaken by the Secretary General and the, and the United Nations in this regard and supports the Secretary General's call to end the war. Mr. President, the Republic of Suriname maintains diplomatic relations with both Russia and Ukraine and shall continue to call for processes of dialogue and diplomacy, which are essential elements that contribute to maintaining peace, stability and security. I thank you, Mr. President.